Hey Roll Breaker, it's Courtney here with some copywriting, business, and life advice for rebels with a cause. In this video, we're gonna talk about creating a really, really great opt-in offer for your website. So the opt-in offer is just a free product that people get when they subscribe to your website. And the reason that you have it there is because really to build your list and also to add some value to people who are just getting to your website and need a taste of your work and to start building that relationship with you. So when it comes to opt-in offers, I often hear that it's all been done before, that everybody has a free offer, does anyone even care anymore, all that kind of stuff. And the answer is you do still need to have an opt-in offer. It's really, 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 really important. You're not gonna be able to build your list without one, but I wanna tell you sort of what's going on in today's world and what you can do now to create a really great effective opt-in offer that will get people subscribing to your website and super excited to be joining your community and your audience. So number one, what should you create as an opt-in offer? I believe that the opt-in offer is like the first step in the process of working with you. Now, your business, your products, and your services are all in place to help people get to a certain ultimate desire, result, benefit, whatever you wanna say. And I actually like to refer to this as the rainbow bridge. So I drew this a while ago and I'll explain it to you. So this cloud over here is where people are right now. And this pot of gold, work with me, I realize it is like a child's drawing. Um, but this pot of gold is where people want to be. And the rainbow bridge is your business. Your business is trying to help people get from where they are right now to where they want to be through your products and services. And also each of your products and services is going to have its own little rainbow bridge drawing, but that is a topic for another video. So basically what your opt-in offer is going to do is take people from the cloud just to the first step of the process, the first checkpoint on the rainbow bridge to help them to start getting towards achieving their goals. So I want you to think about where your audience members are right now and if there's something you can create for them that's really simple, really straightforward, super actionable that can help them to achieve a quick win and a desired result and to really see some sort of effect in their lives. Don't put too much pressure on this. The mistake people make is that they try to throw everything in the kitchen sink into their offers or they make them way too general. So for the first thing, your opt-in offer should be super duper simple. One result and you have to get them there the most efficiently as possible. So anything that does not need absolutely to be included in your opt-in offer, it's not essential, should not be included. Make it as efficient as possible. The second thing is that you don't wanna make it too general. It needs to be, again, a specific result so that people will see it and they'll say, oh, I really need that. I wanna achieve that result. That's something that I desire right now. When you make it too general, like an overall health guide to being healthy, that's really vague and people don't feel attached to that because they can't really picture what they're going to get out of it. And there's tons of information out there and that doesn't really stick. So what I also want to talk about is how should you package up and deliver your opt-in offer? Now, I think there should be two components to your opt-in offer. <laughs> the first one I think you should include is some sort of written component, like a checklist or a worksheet or a printable. And I think you should also include some sort of audio or video to help the person start to get to know you. And this is especially important if you really are your brand, if you really are your business, then you definitely want to use this opt-in offer to start building that relationship. Another great idea is to spread out your opt-in offer over time so that you can really have a lot of touch points with people. So like I do in the copywriting cheat sheets, there's a cheat sheet per day for a few days and that allows me to start building a relationship with people who subscribe to the Rule Breakers Club over that first week so they start to get to know me and get used to opening emails from me so that it doesn't look like spam. All right, so I would love for you to go out there and tweak your opt-in offer, or create a new one. You can always create new ones for different sales funnels and your businesses and all kinds of stuff. And if you have any questions about this, just pop on over to Twitter and tweet me at CourtRJ. And I also thought I'd mention that as long as you follow me on Twitter, you should also follow me on Periscope, which is my new favorite place to hang out. So you can also follow me there at, at CourtRJ. I tend to Periscope. I'm just trying it out, but a couple of times a Day with some really fun behind the scenes topics and you can see how I'm using Periscope for my business and I will see you 